Welcome back for the Cosmetic Job Checklist video series. This is video number four, bathroom brush ups that we're gonna talk about today. If you recall on the first three videos of this Cosmetic Job Checklist video series, we did painless landscaping makeover tips, we did some quick curbside facelift tips that we gave you, and then we moved into the house and we did some interior beauty tips. We're gonna stay inside the house on video number four and talk about the bathroom specifically and what we need to do to improve that bathroom to help you sell that property. Hi, I'm Jonathan Otero. I'm the owner of J&J &J Management Group and We Buy Houses Seminole. I, I'm primarily a real estate investor in Orange and Seminole County, Florida, but now we're expanding to Polk County, we're expanding to Lake County, and business is booming. And these are some of the tips that I do, some of the things that I do when I fix and flip a house that I'm sharing with you. So if you're a real estate investor, listen up. So let's get right into it, guys. If you've seen some of the other videos, you know that these are some quick tips that I'm just gonna hit you with, bam, 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 one, two, three. In this video, we're gonna do six of them and we're gonna help you fix that bathroom up very quickly, very efficiently, and help you sell for the most. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna look at when we're walking into a property and we're gonna decide what we're gonna to do to the bathroom because they say bathrooms and kitchens sell, right? So what are we gonna to do to this bathroom? I'm working on a house right now in Palm Bay, Florida that has only one bathroom. It's a two bed, one bathroom house, very small. So this one bathroom needs to pop. So what are we gonna do? So, so let's jump right into it and let's talk about number one. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna look at the vanity and the cabinet in the sink. You wanna see if that needs to be replaced. If it doesn't, don't touch it, leave it alone. If you don't have to spend money, if it was just renovated, if it looks like it's in decent condition, keep it. But you have to check it to see if it's damaged, if there's chips in the sink, uh, paint chips on the sink, or uh, it's broken, or it's just not good, it looks dirty, get rid of it. So number one is the vanity. You definitely wanna look at that and the sink. Uh, those are the keys there. If those need to be replaced, you're gonna to have to dip into your pocket and you're gonna to have to look at your budget and figure it out. And depending on the neighborhood, some neighborhoods are really, really nice and you probably have to buy a high-end um, vanity, sink base or whatever, uh, or mirror, medicine cabinet, whatever you have in that, that, that situation there in that bathroom. But if it's in a, a regular, you know, middle-class neighborhood, then you just buy the basic stuff. As long as it's new, it looks nice. But that's the key. First, check the vanity in the sink. See if it needs to replace, be replaced. If it does, fix it and replace it. So now that we've gotten that taken care of, what's number two? The second thing you want to do is the light fixtures. When you look at those light fixtures, are they ugly? Are they dirty? Are they damaged? And if they are, you got to go to your local hardware store, Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace, wherever you go to get stuff like that. And you have to purchase new light fixtures. So that's the key. A light fixture. Install light fixtures. Again, you have to decide what you, where you're going to spend your money, where you're going to get the best bang for your buck. Bathrooms are always going to be giving, bathrooms and kitchens always give you the best bang for your buck. So you want to make sure you spend the most money in your budget in these rooms. And you want to take a look at that light fixture. You want to take a look at that sink. If they need to be replaced, if they need some updating, sometimes a simple $30, $40, $50 light fixture can make all the difference in the world to just look new and spruce the place up. So take a look at the light fixtures. If they need to be replaced, install them. So now we've taken a look at the sink. We've taken a look at the vanity, the mirrors, everything is fixed. We've taken a look at the light fixture and that now has been replaced and updated. So where do we move to next? You guessed it, the golden throne, the toilet. And you probably want to, in all, most cases, always change the toilet seat. Um, I can't really see a time where I haven't changed the toilet seat because they're so cheap and they're so inexpensive. You get the cheapest one that they offer at a Home Depot or Lowe's and uh, it's just brand new. It's clean. People can see that it's brand new. And what you want to do also is you want to see if you can leave that plastic cover on it that comes in the box or you want to see if you leave the tag on it so people know that this is a brand new toilet seat that when they purchase that house, they're the only ones that have sat on that toilet seat. So that's also key. So when you not only do you install a new toilet seat, but you leave the you leave the tags on it or you leave the plastic 
film that's on top of the actual seat where you sit, leave that on there. So when people open it up, they can see that that's brand new. So step number three for a quick brush up is install a new toilet seat. Install toilet seat. Brand new and it's so quick, it's so simple. If you haven't done a toilet seat before, it literally is just two screws in the back. You unscrew, you put in the new one, screw it back in, and it is done. Makes all the difference in the world. Now, hopefully all you have to do is the toilet seat. If the toilet itself is in bad shape, you're probably going to have to replace that yourself. But I purposely left that off the list because that's a decision you're going to have to make when you walk through your home that you're investing in. Does that toilet seat look damaged, cracked, old, dirty, disgusting? And if that's the case, then yeah, you're probably just going to have to buy a brand new toilet. Forget the toilet seat, get the whole thing brand new and install that. But in most cases, the toilet can be saved. If you look at it, if you just clean it up a little bit and all you have to do is put in a brand new toilet seat, try to match the color. They usually have white and a beige color and then they usually have a circular one or an oval one. So you have to figure out what type you have and what type of toilet you have and purchase that but it's so simple, so quick, and it makes a big difference. So after we did that, now we've got the sink, we got the mirror, the vanity, we got the toilet taken care of. What else do we have to move to? Obviously, you know it is the shower. We have to look at the shower and see if it has a shower curtain, if it has a shower door, then you probably just have to clean it up, and if the door is really damaged and messed up, then you're probably gonna have to spend a lot of money to get a new shower door. But if it just has a shower curtain in it, then, Awesome, because all you have to do, and I'm sure you know that this is simple, is replace the shower curtain. Replace shower curtain. That is so simple and easy. I mean, it, you know what I'm, a pro what I'm probably about to say um, if you've had to buy a shower curtain before, but if you've never purchased a shower curtain, it is as simple as going to a Bed Bath & Beyond or a 99 cent store even, guys. Literally, 99 cents. Purchasing a plastic shower curtain and hanging it up. Chances are they're gonna use their own shower curtain anyway or they're gonna purchase a new one, but the, the shower curtain comes out of the plastic. It, you can tell it's new. You can smell the plastic is new. It is so cheap, but it's so efficient because people see new. They don't care that it's 99 cents. They don't care that it's a couple of bucks. They just want it to be new, clean and fresh. That's what we're doing here, guys. We're not going crazy. I, I, I wish I can tell you some magical thing where you need to do something scientific and change this and change. No, no, no. It is as simple as just replacing the shower curtain. So step number four, new shower curtain. That's it. Now, after you've done all of those things in the bathroom, now we want to walk around the entire bathroom and we want to make sure that we have, uh, we've caulked all the, the, the sink, we've caulked the toilet, we've caulked the, the inside the shower and the tiles. That's critical. So we want to, you want to go to your local hardware store. You want to get white caulking for bathrooms, tubs and tiles. And what you do is you literally just caulk the, all the tiles, all the corners, all the edges. You want to put white caulking down the edges and the corners, all around the, the bathtub, all around the uh, toilet seat on the bottom, all around the sink, anywhere where water can penetrate and get in. You want to make sure you add new caulking. Now this is assuming that you don't have to do a total rehab in the bathroom, that you can keep the tiles there. Obviously if you're going to put new tiles in there, eventually you're going to caulk those and grout those and fix those as well. But if you're going to be able to save those tiles, if the bathroom was just renovated a couple of years ago and the tiles are still in good condition, you just want to reseal and that new white caulking will actually look nice, new and fresh. So re-caulk the showers in the corners on the edges, all four corners and around the bathtub. Re-caulk the toilet on the bottom of the toilet and the sink as well. You want to put new caulking all around there because it looks nice, it looks fresh, it looks clean. And also you don't want to, over time, the, the caulking starts to wear away and, 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 and break away. Um, so if you reseal it, it just looks nice, fresh and clean and it's something quick and easy to do. It's fun to do. It looks nice when it's done. So that is another step. Make sure you caulk the entire bathroom, especially where water falls out. Uh, in the bathtub, when people come out of the shower, water falls off their body and it falls on those bottom tiles. You want to make sure that's sealed as well. So caulk, that's critical.
And the final thing to spruce up your bathroom is you want to demildew the sink and the bathtub. So demildew. The sink and the bathtub. And you can go buy to your local, uh, your local store or Walmart or wherever and you can buy those demildew sprays. Um, those for the, the ones that specifically for the shower and the bathroom and you just spray that bad boy on there Sometimes you can buy if you have a really bad mildew problem You'll probably have to buy a, a stronger chemical at your Home Depot or Lowe's But you can buy those those sprays spray that bad boy up Make sure you wear a mask because some of them are so strong I've sprayed them in the past and that smell hits me. I start I, I can't take it I start to cough so try to put a mask on Try to open up the windows if there's a window there or if the bathroom has ventilation with a fan, turn that bad boy on because the smell gets so strong with those chemicals and those products. But you want to de-mildew. You don't want to have um, nasty mildew in the shower and the sinks in the bathroom when people are looking through it. So spray that chemical on there, wipe it off, rinse it off, and just try to clean that as best as possible. If you don't want to do it yourself, then you can have your cleaning company that comes in to do it. Make sure though that they de-mildew that sink in that bathroom when it's done. So guys, very, very simple, right? Sim simple, quick tips. Um, nothing. We're not lighting the world on fire here. It doesn't take all of that stuff. All that stuff you see on TV, forget about it. Very simple things. You walk through the bathroom. This is what I'm going to do on my property in Palm Bay. I'm going to take a look at the vanity and sink. It looks like it's in decent condition. Probably just have to clean it up and we're good to go. Install light fixtures. I'm probably going to replace the light fixture in the bathroom because it looks old and dated. Install a new toilet seat and then I'm going to leave the, the toilet looks like it's in good shape. Just buy a brand new toilet seat and leave the, the uh, plastic on there so they can see that it's a new one. I'm going to replace the shower curtain because my bathroom that I'm dealing with in this property does have shower curtains in it. So I'm definitely going to replace the shower curtain. Probably go to a 99 cent store and just put a brand new one in there. Definitely going to have my contractor caulk and I could even do it myself. Caulk this, the bathroom sink uh, and the bathroom tub. To make sure that is cleaned up and, and, and everything is sealed properly. And I'm going to de-mildew that, that uh, sink in that bathroom tub as well. And I'm going to make sure that it's sprayed down. And we're going to take out all that old you know stuff that's in there. Um, and that's it. The bathroom is now brushed up and ready to uh, show. So very, very simple stuff, guys. Hopefully you like this video. I hope that you guys are out there and uh, you're lighting the world on fire with some of the investment properties that you're doing and you're flipping them and you're making a lot of money. That's what we do here at J&J Management Group and we buy houses. If you have a house that you want to sell and you're looking to get it off the market and you can't sell it with, a, with an agent the conventional way because your house needs some work, give me a call. My number's right now at the bottom. We buy houses seminal.org. The number's 407-796-8557. Call that number. There's a couple of questions that we're going to ask you so we can get an idea of what we're dealing with. Answer those questions and then I'll review it myself. I'll take a look and see if there's a deal to be made and if we can work with you. And we'll see if we can uh, take over your property, get you out of whatever situations you're in. Give us a call and let's see if we could do a win-win deal. Remember guys, I know this looks kind of easy, but what is the, what is the slogan of We Buy House Seminole? If you've seen any of my other videos, let's keep it simple and the reason I say that's my slogan and that's my motto is because real estate can get as complicated as you need it to be we can take a sledgehammer and knock down a wall but then we have electrical problems and now we have to rebuild this and do all we could make it as difficult or as simple as we want it to be and my goal in real estate and doing these videos so you can see what I do is to see that I try to keep it as simple as possible so we buy houses we say let's keep it simple see you guys on the next video where we're gonna be talking about the kitchen